Hi everybody, Rick from Rick's RC and more. <clears throat> uh, you see, I've got a box here. If you see my last video, you know what this is gonna be. Just came literally like 15 minutes ago. I, uh, I booked some holidays. Anticipating we need it here today. I have a couple of flaps. Oh. That box has been opened already, probably through customs. All right. Oh yeah. Plastic bead locks, not sure if they're functional, but they do have uh, metal hex, which is good. Set these guys aside. They give you a, a mixture can, put your oil in here, your gas in here, tip it up by upside down and mix your, your fuel. Got some tools, funnel, I got two wheel hexes here that are just loosely in the box. Hopefully the other two are in there. They're serrated, so that's good. Getting this out is gonna be a chore. Bear with me here. Set it back on the ground. So it's like 50 pounds. I know you still don't know exactly what it is, but we will in a minute. You may be able to tell it's short course truck. It is not a low C5T. Okay, the other wheel hexes are, are on the back wheels. Manual for control. and fuel tank cap. So, this is a 30 degree north DDT-7. This is a, I'm trying to get my finger out of the way here. One fifth scale, 29 cc, um, short course truck. These are supposed to be like an unbreakable body. It's a really flimsy, but thick, pliable plastic. Guys with five T's will actually buy these bodies to run. Just, they're not gonna break. This is an RTR. Comes with a FlySky FS GT3B radio. And I'll have to cut that off. One of the other reasons why I went with these guys is one, these trucks are a little more affordable than a 5T. Really need to sharpen this knife. There we go. And I'll show you here in a second. This radio. These radios are nothing special. They got their cheap receivers, but why not? So these trucks come with a tuned pipe. Whereas your, your, your low C5T, it's gonna come with a generic chainsaw or weed whacker style exhaust. From what I hear, um, to get the power out of those trucks, you really need uh, you really need to pipe them. Nice big body pins. Two pins and this body should come right off. Oh yeah. Body is very well caged. I'm 
truck has rear sway bar, front sway bar, nice big shocks. Shocks have a bladder around the, uh, the shafts there. Let's, uh, let's give everybody a good look. Aluminum threaded, adjustable camber links, no silencer, this will be loud. Here's our motor, choke primer, here's our stop. Got some fairly, fairly beefy looking, looks like a 70 kilogram servo. 70 kilogram servo there as well. This is the version two, it's supposed to be a better steering geometry. You can see it's got an adjustable servo saver here. Motor has some compression. We'll make sure uh, spark plugs tight and everything and uh, we'll have to do a uh, break-in procedure on it. But uh, first let's, uh, let's get the wheels on this, on this bad boy. All right, so we got the wheels on, got the body back on it. Comes with a nice sized uh, tire wrench, spark plug wrench, some Allen keys uh, for adjusting your camber and suspension. Not quite sure what these are for yet, whether they're extras. <clears throat> and it came with a, um, I got the battery on charge. It came with a nickel metal hydride uh, battery. I'll be uh, obviously upgrading at one point, probably go light bulb like I do with all my stuff. But uh, for now, before uh, I got to go over everything kind of before I do an initial um, startup, uh, there's different braking procedures people follow with these. I'll probably, um, it is loud. Um, so until I can get somewhere where I'm not gonna really tick off some neighbors, uh, <clears throat> I'll probably, uh, just do some heat cycles, just fire up the motor, let it let it get up to temperature, shut it down, let it cool, do a do some heat cycles and and then start uh, some people idle a whole tank through them. Um, like I said, with it being as noisy as it is, if I'm gonna do that around the my neighborhood, then it's just gonna be heat cycle because to have it idle and away for that length of time. I'll definitely have to adjust the rear suspension because she's really squatting. Really squat squatting on the back, but uh, yeah, so, so far, everything seems to be good. There doesn't seem to be any uh, damage to anything. Seems like the kit came with everything it was supposed to. Uh, I think these older batteries, yes, this does take eight, eight batteries, unfortunately. I can, I do have a receiver for my, uh, my Spectrum I could put in here and, uh, use it with this truck as well. I have a six channel because uh, the reason I give you a three channel is because you're gonna wanna, uh, you'll, my other video there, the uh, the kill switch, that's kind of a, a must with these guys. There's probably a fail safe built into the receiver where if you lose, um, you lose signal or your controller dies or something, there's probably uh, <clears throat> a fail safe that may lock the brakes and let off the throttle, but uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of hardware probably to go over on this as well this is basically a knockoff of the 5t aluminum chassis it's got the 30 degree north stamped in there everything there looks good You definitely need open area to run this. I mean, this thing just fits on my table. Um, <clears throat> I have some, I picked up some, uh, some two stroke oil for it. And uh, I got some gas, I'll have to mix some up. To take the uh, body off these, just a couple pins back here. A couple underneath at the front. 
and then up and forward. It's got pins that go in the back as well there. They do have holes in them, but they, they did not come with body clips. Yeah, there's nowhere to put the pins in there. They just have holes in those body posts. So I'll, I'll do some adjustment on the suspension. Like I said, it's a little soft on the back, I think. Check everything over. <clears throat> I'll probably, I'm gonna pop just to make sure. Call me uh, paranoid, but take your, your air filter out. It's definitely a good idea. Yeah, just look in there, make sure there's nothing in the carburetor. It's got a internal filter here, which probably needs or probably should be oiled. And then you got your outside pre-filter. Make sure I get it right in there. And then yeah, just a couple body pins holding that as well. Carburetor has a Marked high speed, low speed jet. I'll bring the camera over and if you're not familiar with tuning um, two stroke motors, it's really not that difficult once you get onto it. So you see the, uh, get this to focus. Hmm. My camera always has trouble focusing for some reason. Now, from a distance, you can see an H here. That's supposed to be an L, but that, that would be your low speed jet. This one over here would be your high speed. So once you got it broke in, that's when you can kind of start playing with it. Um, you turn these in, you're leaning in the motor out or making it um, leaner, thinner. There's different terms. Or you can uh, richen it up, which would be bringing these jets out and uh, that would richen your mixture or uh, make your mixture fatter. Uh, you want to do like 16th of a turn at a time when you're adjusting. You can take your spark plug out, see what color the plug's burning. It should be a, uh, a nice caramel brown. If it's black, it's rich. If it's white, you're way too lean and you could possibly cause damage to your motor. Uh, these are 29 cc's. Uh, you could definitely fit bigger in here if you go that route. Uh, use your idle screw. You can bring your idle up and down on it. It's probably got a, a factory setting right now. And this one here, I'm assuming we would do your choke. Yep, that's probably choke on or off. I'd have to look back into the carburetor. I believe that choke on, that's probably off. <clears throat> and we'll make sure that the servos working properly and, and throttles opening. It's dual disc brake, one on each side here of your, on your center diff. So once the battery's got a charge on it and I get some uh, batteries in the remote and make sure all the servos are functioning properly, we'll, uh, we'll get some fuel and oil in here. And that might be a, that's probably gonna be a separate video. I don't wanna run too long, but uh, yeah, so I got this off eBay. Um, Fearless RC was, was where I got it from. It, uh, I think, I think it took, well, it was, I don't know, 10, 10 to 15 days to get here type deal. I'd have to go back and look at everything. Um, <clears throat> the, the last uh, day would have been Monday um, as far as the delivery schedule, but uh, I got it today. Worked out great. I'm, I'm here. I was here to sign for it. I didn't have to go pick it up or anything, but, uh, yeah. So everybody get out and enjoy your RCs.